Hello everybody, Andrea Tresk here with Dental Well Tutoring. So another um, video about clinic. So how to kind of stay organized in clinic and little things to just sort of help you be organized that a lot of students don't tend to think about. So one of the things that may sound silly, but make sure to have enough pens. If you need blue pens, red pens, whatever, make sure you have enough, even have at least three of the colors that you, you, you need. So that way you can offer one to your instructor if she has to mark something. It just sort of shows that you're as organized as possible. And there's nothing worse than, you know, seating your patient, you're talking about the medical history, the health history, or you're even going through the assessments. And then you're like, oh shoot, my pen just ran out. You know, uh-oh, you're probably not allowed to leave clinic. Um, if you are, lucky you because we were not allowed to leave ever and if you're not fully prepared you could lose marks at least that's how it was in my school if we forgot a pen paper notepad hair elastic anything we were allowed to leave but then it was like well we have to make you lose some marks now so that was never nice right so make sure to have enough pens just to be safe and if you can like purchase this like a tiny um notebook or something to take notes because even as you're going through, say, let's some take the um, assessment phase as an example, you might learn something new. You um, could be marking it with your instructor and then she says something like, oh, well, um, just so you know, this is also called this. Or on this part, you did an excellent job, but on this part, you could have added this, this, and this. So it is always nice to take notes because you might think you will um, remember everything at the end of the day, but you will not. And it's nice to also look at that afterwards too. So even if you're, say you're having clinic for the first time, you will learn a ton of things. And then at the time that you're in your third semester or your last semester, you'll look back at your notes and say, wow, I learned a lot. You know, I can't believe that I thought this in my first semester and now I'm in my last semester and oh my goodness, like I did learn a lot. So it does help to have a little um, um, notepad, notebook, you know, something to take notes, it does help. Um, those are kind of the little things that I liked to do to keep organized and always have sticky notes. So I did mention this in the video earlier too, but always have sticky notes. So if you need to make sure to get a signature or something, like even make them a lot tinier, so you don't forget a signature because we, we all know how annoying that can be if everything's done perfectly and you're moving on to the next step. And then at the end of the day, you're like, oh shoot, I forgot to get a signature for my first step. Well, the second step may not count if you didn't get a signature for the first step. That's how some schools are. I don't know about yours, but it's so important to make sure you get a signature. Um, so just kind of little things to help you guys out. In some schools, you are allowed to keep like, like a little cheat sheet of maybe things that you know that you have to know, but you might not always remember, like the papules, macules, you know, the different types. Um, I did that a lot for my cheat notes. Um, I put down there the angles for um, the bisecting technique, because I would never, for some reason, remember that. Um, what else would I do? It's been such a long time. I wish I could find my notes from clinic, but I did look and I can't find them. So who knows what I did with them. But um, so in your cheat notes, if you're allowed to have that, think of things that you need all the time that you just simply can't remember yet. And you will find that at your last semester, you will be like, oh, I'm, I don't even need this anymore. You know, so your first semester, your first time in clinic, you, you probably will. But then as you move ahead, you will not need them anymore. So I hope that these little tips helped. If you need some more, just let me know.